Hi, my name is Walt Farchman, Product Manager for the new EDAC XR. Today I'll show you how you can convert your EDAC layers to the new EDAC XR platform. Today we have two solutions for portable rugged data acquisition. We have the EDAC, which is a centralized system, and the SOMAT XR, which is a modular or distributed system. I'm going to show you with animation how you can convert your EDAC to the EDAC XR and how we leverage the development effort that we made in the SOMAT XR to make this happen. First, you just remove the processor from your current EDAC system, bolt the base up to your current layers, remove the lid, add an interface layer, and then add the new processor to your system. Now all future EDAC XR layers can be added uh, with external screws, so no longer do you have to drill down to get to a bottom layer. And on day one, you can take advantage of the SOMAT XR modules and put these up to 50 meters away from your system using two Ethernet ports that are on the uh, new processor. I'd like to give you a little more information about the new processor. First of all, the power connector, which is exactly the same pinouts as the current EDAC power connector. We did add two digital inputs and three output for control. We have three CAM ports wired exactly like your current EDAC COM layer. And in the future, we'll be developing new CAN capabilities like CCP and CAN FD, but more to come on that. A GPS port supporting the 5 hertz and the 200 hertz GPS and wired again just like your EDAC. We have a gigabit Ethernet host port for your computer, so faster uploads. And two ports, you already saw on the previous slide that you can connect these to the SOMAT XR modules, but these ports will also be used for networking multiple EDACs, and it'll be much easier than the current process for networking, essentially plug and play. And again, more information to come on that. And the last connector here is a USB port. This will have a few different usage, uh, uses. Uh, one will be for remote data upload. So you can just plug in and upload your data um, to a USB stick. Also a Wi-Fi device so you can have a little dongle and have wireless uh, connectivity to your system. By the way, this presentation is primarily focusing on hardware, but just to let you know, the software for the new EDAC XR resides on the system. So this processor is a web server. All you need to do is connect via a web browser. That could be a phone, it could be a tablet, it could be your computer. Everything that uh, you need is on this box, so no software needs to be installed on your PC. I wanted to take a minute to share just a few of the uh, value arguments that I think the EDAC XR will offer to our customers. Obviously, our customers have invested a lot in EDAC and EDAC signal conditioning layers over the years. And one of the primary things we wanted to do is make sure that we protect that investment. So all your signal conditioning layers that you have today will work with the new EDAC XR processor. It also provides a graceful migration path to the next generation system. Clearly there will be new software. We'll cover that more uh, in another session, but browser-based, um, sensor database, spreadsheet view, importing and exporting from Excel, just to mention a, a few things that the software will, will offer. Um, I think having the, um, on day one, having the ability to expand with the SOMAT XR modules is a big plus. Um, easy networking of multiple systems, and we will um, 
continue to use the SIE file format so all your analysis processes will remain the same. The system is going to be smaller, it's a wider operating voltage and also a wider operating temperature range, minus 40 to 80. On the voltage, I wanted to mention that we're using super caps for battery backup rather than batteries. Um, the capacitors uh, don't degrade in performance over time. They charge in minutes, not hours. And so uh, we believe that's a much better approach. And in the future, we will continue to develop new signal conditioning layers and you can combine your current EDAC layers with the new EDAC XR signal conditioning layers and still uh, connect to the SOMAT XR modules. We'll uh, offer molded D-sub IP67 D-sub connectors with the MA Turks, M8s at the top left, pigtail on the right, and many different options of connectors that we can mold on there. That happens to be an M12 image there on the bottom right. So bottom line is you got options. Top left, you got your existing EDAC layers with a new processor. To the right, you have your existing EDAC layers, new processor, and a new signal conditioning layer so you can mix old and new. If you want to pull that system off and put it on a base layer, you can now have a smaller footprint, small system, slightly larger than an EDAC light, but quite a bit smaller than an EDAC. And all of these solutions can take advantage of the remote modules of the SOMAT XR. Hopefully this gave you a small glimpse of where we're heading with the EDAC XR, and I certainly welcome any feedback or any questions. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.